I've got quite a few power banks, they're really useful, aren't they? But that hasn't stopped me buying another one this week, and this one came from Amazon. And all in all, it well, it's pretty standard, isn't it? It's quite reasonably thin and not too large. Uh, claimed 10,000 milliamp hours, a LiPo battery in there. There's a switch on the side and an LED, which if uh, a long press will... Uh, turn on and then short presses change it into lots of silly modes um, but yeah nothing much to write home about there's also an indicator here on how well charged it is just two bars but yeah pretty bog standard so all in all nothing really to write home about but if we look on the back this is a solar power bank well where is the solar panel you may ask well these two metal contacts here these little pins give you an indication that this actually comes with an accessory and the accessory is very much like a mobile phone case you plug the power bank into this case and then you've got one not two not three but four solar panels to charge your power bank now i have seen the power banks before i think we all have uh, with one solar panel built in but i've not seen one of these with a large solar panel i say large you know uh, but a, a decent sized solar panel which uh, actually doesn't go into a terribly bad package i think that's quite neat and uh, yeah if i don't know if you can see this on camera but there is a glow there from a solar indicator and uh, apparently my bench lights are charging my power bank that seems uh, well it's a new form of wireless charging isn't it now the little english and chinese manual that comes with it says we've got a total of six watts of solar power 1.5 Watt times four, and this is a 10,000 milliamp hour lithium polymer battery. And uh, its outputs it's got two outputs, max 2.4 amps. So we'll give that a quick test before we take this out in the sun. Now I've connected it to my Rui Deng USB power meter here and I've put a dummy load on here as well. And uh, we're pulling just under one amp let me tweak that there we go one amp and it's delivering 4.94 volts excellent so will it deliver the 2.4 amps that it claims well let's find out let's increase the load on this power bank up to uh, two amps now there or thereabouts and uh, the voltage has dropped to 4.8 volts and oh no that was not much over two amps was it i've turned that down there we go two amps if i increase that beyond two amps what will it do no just under 2.1 amps there and it cut off i wonder if the middle port here which is marked with two little lightning flashes i wonder if that will uh have the same issue so 4.85 volts just under two amps there just under 10 watts and uh, let's keep tweaking that and again no same issue so sadly uh, 2.4 amps is not achievable in my test from this power bank Yesterday I did do a discharge at 1 amp, so here's the uh, 1 amp figure and on the left hand side showing the voltage which had an interesting step in it. The voltage would sag slightly and then the uh, microcontroller or the little IC inside would say oh I'm dropping voltage a bit and lift it up. I thought that was quite interesting. That would got more frequent obviously as the LiPo discharge but uh, yeah it delivered pretty much five volts one amp um but unfortunately here uh, we can see the energy i managed to get out of it which is 23.89 watt hours 4830 milliamp hours but remember that milliamp hour figure is at five volts not at the lipo batteries 3.7 volts so it's better generally to compare watt hours so uh 10,000 milliamp hours at 3.7 uh, volts nominal 
is 37 watt hours but i only managed to get well a little less than 23 watt hours out of this power bank so sadly it doesn't seem to be 10,000 milliamps as claimed but I always like to be fair to these devices, so I've also done a graph of when I recharged the power bank from a USB power supply. And we can see I charged it at 2 amps, and that dropped away until the charge completed after, well, about 5 hours. And uh, actually, the energy I've managed to put into it is 36.5 watt hours. So uh, that's pretty close to the 37 watt hours. Um, claimed by the uh, power bank but obviously yeah I don't know so it's coming up at 7,000 milliamp hours at 5 volts 36 and a half watt hours when I've recharged it so I'd say it's nearly 10,000 milliamp hours but anyway the most interesting part is this solar panel so let's take it outside because it is a lovely day now we'd really struggle for a better day to test this so I've placed the solar panel out on an angle on the garden table and without shading we can see that the uh, voltage is 6.4 volts open circuit. I've just uh, attached some little wires there to the output of the solar panel and I've done the same on the power bank itself. These little pogo pins here. Um, well, they took solder and it is connected, so uh, let's connect it up. And uh, with that connected, what does the uh, porter pal say? Well, it's the voltage has been dragged down to 3.97 volts, 4 volts, and 847 milliamps, so what, 3.37 watts. So uh, that's a reasonable amount of power, but it's not quite the five watts claimed is it it's been a little over an hour and that panel's still in full sun at the moment i put this piece of paper over the porter pal to keep it out of the sun and uh, you can see it's at 4.3 volts there 800 and something milliamps at 3.8 watts and uh, just under 950 milliamp hours and yeah it's been running an hour and 10 minutes and we've actually got just four watt hours um, out of that panel uh, the uh, power bank is out of the sun as well under there and uh, well that's not as good as i hoped right i think we'll end this experiment but first of all let's just uh, check the temperature of this panel well it's in above 60 degrees celsius isn't it so uh yeah it's pretty warm uh, we'll take that piece of paper off and have a final check of the porter power and that's showing 4.4 volts 613 milliamps just over two hours we've been running in that 6.8 watt hours and uh well that accumulates to 1.58 amp hours have been put into that power bank just under three watts at the moment so what can i say well four panels is clearly better than one if you go for one of those power banks with just one panel attached to it uh, it does make it obviously a little bit bulkier but then you can also hide the power bank under the uh, the solar panel here and uh, keep it out of direct sunlight and it might keep it a little bit cooler the fact that you can also remove this entirely is quite useful so you can take it away and use it just as a standard power bank without the solar panel if needed and if you were going camping or whatever you can take the solar panel with you i'm sure i'll find a use for this somewhere but i wouldn't necessarily recommend it on a project outside because i don't suspect this solar panel is going to last very long outside permanently it is a fine weather solar panel i'd suggest hopefully you found this little video interesting if you did give me a thumbs up subscribe down below comment if you can and i will see you next time thanks for watching